This week in Jamaica now, Kingston teacher stimulating minds and warming hearts amid education disruption in inner city communities. It doesn't matter if they're not members of my class. I just know definitely that I am responsible for the nation's children, so I'll have to do something about it. Tragedy. A father killed after a landslide in Shooters Hill, St. Andrew. His daughter is missing. COVID alarm again. 36 cases confirmed at a children's home and 68 at a golden age home. Brawl on board. Why an American traveler was arrested aboard a JetBlue flight in Kingston. George Nooks charged with drug offenses 18 months after an incident in Ligony, St. Andrew. And winding down to the PNP leadership election, Mark Golding nominated. Yes or no, are you in favor of decriminalizing buggery in Jamaica? Your That's five seconds one. are elapsing. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa Hanna was first to get her name on the ballot. You will have five seconds to complete each answer. Bob Marley or Peter Tosh, who would get your blessing for God national? God of mercy. <laughs>I'm Damian Mitchell, and this is Jamaica Now. There was tragedy in the eastern St. Andrew community of Shooters Hill on Friday as a man was killed when his house was flattened during a landslide. His body was pulled from the rubble by rescue workers who dug through the mud even during heavy rains. However, his daughter remains missing. A landslide took place. And when we came, we saw the house um, in shambles. We couldn't find who was in it. We searched frantically and we found um, the, the, our friend Romy, which is the man. Then um, we understand, based on where we found him, that the daughter is building the, the, um, the rubble in, um, behind somebody else's house. We have been digging for about two hours to most. Uh, I'm more trying to find um, her. Meanwhile, the heavy rains have also resulted in widespread flooding along several roadways. Inner city teacher Tanika McCoy Phipps has been stimulating minds and warming hearts amid the disruptions to education caused by COVID-19. McCoy Phipps, a teacher at the Union Gardens Infant School in St. Andrew Southwestern, has been leading a team of educators into inner city communities to impart lessons daily. In an interview with UNICEF Jamaica, McCoy Phipps said she decided to take on the challenge after realizing that many inner city children were being left behind because they did not have the facilities for remote learning. One day I was just around the back of my yard doing some chores and I heard a lot of noise. And I went to my gate to look to see what it was and I saw children running up and down wild, a lot of kids, some riding bicycles, others playing different games. And I was like, wow, and this was school time. I knew that if it wasn't the COVID, they would have been in class. So as a teacher, I took responsibility. I felt responsible because I was like, because we're not able to be with them. They're out there doing that. And I felt sad when I knew that I had to do something about it. Then the thought came to paint blackboards in this community, put up the work at a designated spot and let parents know. So everybody can just come and access this. Take their phone, take a picture and take it back in, inside their, their room for their children. And the health ministry says Jamaica's COVID cases may now have plateaued. However, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton is urging people to continue to observe the COVID containment protocol. At the same time, the government this week reported the discovery of COVID clusters at the Golden Age Home in Kingston and the Mustard Seed Communities Residential Facility in St. Catherine called Jerusalem. At the Mustard Seed Communities, 36 cases have been confirmed. That's 20 residents and 16 staff members. Meanwhile, there have been 69 cases at the Golden Age Home, 40 residents and 19 staff, with 10 yet to be confirmed. The Minister with Responsibility for Local Government, Desmond McKenzie, says there was a breakdown in the administration of the COVID protocol at the Golden Age Home. Based on the, the testing that has been done and the, the tracing and the limited information that we know, it is clear that it is out of those breaches that the, 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 the residents were infected. And as I said earlier on, the investigations uh, to determine the, how and who is on the way. The police had to be called in to remove a boisterous United States traveler from a JetBlue flight in Kingston earlier this week. A brawl began in the plane after the man reportedly used a derogatory term to refer to a Jamaican woman who was in his assigned seat. Mega, 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 mega,
This ain't nigga all I want. Yes, I can. Flight attendants urged calm, but the angry passengers insisted that the man should be removed from the flight. We are waiting on the car. Yeah! Get out of here! <laughs> it's winding down to the People's National Party's leadership election on Saturday, November 7. This week, the St. Andrew's South Member of Parliament, Mark Golding, and Lisa Hanna, the St. Anne's Southeastern Member of Parliament, were both nominated for the clash. Both of them are confident of victory. Golding and Hanna were also special guests at the Gleaners Editors' Fora. They also made an attempt at the Fast Five. Trump or Biden for November 2020 U.S. election? Who will win? Biden. If not Jamaica for you, then definitely where? Jamaica. True or false, you support the Caribbean Court of Justice becoming Jamaica's final appellate court? True. Yes or no? Are you in favor of decriminalizing buggery in Jamaica? Your that's five seconds are elapsing. That's, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not a yes or no answer. Yes or no to this question. Jamaica sure. should move to legalize ganja. Your seconds are elapsing. That, no, that has to be taken to the public with consultation. Bob Marley or Peter Tosh, who would get your blessing for no, national? No, <laughs> I, if what? Say it, if I had to do what? Assuming you have the deciding vote, Bob Marley or Peter Tosh, who would get your blessing for National Hero? <laughs> I got, got one rule. Both True or false, your government would pass legislation for paternity leave? Yes. Father Richard Holong or Edward Warmington, who would you ask to say prayers at your installation? Oh, God. Um, Bishop Holness. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican recording artist George Nooks is now facing cocaine and other criminal charges. Nooks, who's 59 years old, was arrested by the narcotics police on Thursday and charged with possession of cocaine and attempting to pervert the course of justice. On Friday, he pleaded not guilty in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court and was offered bail in the sum of $300,000. The latest charges are related to an incident in Ligony, St. Andrew in April last year. In that incident, Nooks allegedly tossed a plastic bag containing a white powdery substance to the ground as he was being approached by cops conducting a narcotics operation. In May last year, Nooks was freed of cocaine charges in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court in an unrelated case. Residents of a neighborhood in Hope Pastor, St. Andrew, have won their appeal against the Jamaica Public Service Company, the JPS. They were challenging the decision of the electricity company to demand that they assume the expense for their underground power distribution system. In 2018, the residents took the matter to the appeal court after Chief Justice Brian Sykes ruled that the JPS cannot be compelled to provide electricity to communities through underground cables at its expense. In May 2018, Chief Justice Brian Sykes dismissed the suit, saying that in approving the Pope Pastors housing scheme, Parliament made it clear that those residents who wanted their electricity supplied through an underground system would have to pay for it. However, the appeal court has said the JPS is under a statutory obligation to supply electricity by underground means once it is said to do so. The matter will now, however, go to trial to determine the issue of safety if there are changes to be made to the underground distribution system. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at onlinefeedback at gleanerjm.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. Like this video on our YouTube page, turn on your notifications and subscribe today. I'm Damian Mitchell and before we go, more of the story of the teachers stimulating minds and warming hearts amid disruption to education because of COVID-19. I can't let my children um, down. It doesn't matter if they're not members of my class. I just know definitely that I am responsible for the nation's children, so I'll have to do something about it. Behind every zinc fence and board lies a lot of children with great potential and ability. Equal access to education. You don't know where these great children are. You just have to make sure that nobody's left behind all their hands and bring them. Every child can learn. Every child must learn. What's wrong? What's wrong with him?
put up, man. <laughs> Can't make my prayer in these joints, man. <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta be. Oh, for the jeans. <laughs> oh, just get the boot cut joints up. Get the boot cut joints up. Man. <laughs> if you ain't used to it, don't fuck with it. Don't. This shit for real, man. Hell no. Nah. I get your sweatsuit. Yo, this joint is crazy. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, it's my birthday. No. Watch Grace Hamilton from National. Look for Ado Bread. No. This is so awesome. I'm super excited. To my fans, most of you was on my Instagram just the other day. I don't want to see me drink my tea. I'm going to tell you, I can't live without my white Ado Bread. That bread, yeah. No, man. Favorite. Then look at this. National took the time out just to send me a package to say thank you. So I'm making this video for say thanks to them because I'm going to go Night. Watch arrow bread. Watch not so via so then look at Zetsi. Then look at more bread over here. So then got goodie. Watch oatmeal. No man. Thank you so much, Mr. Enrickson. This is super awesome. You know me and Nicholas and Nicholas I go down in this. You know the white arrow bread. No. Me nah lie. Me feel good to see. Me glad to see God. Look at this. Watch things. No man, thank you guys. Oh God, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. What a ting ting, what a ping ping, and what a tick tock. Eh? Want to say good morning to the world, and want to say good morning to the people them that tune in. Want to say good morning to all of the new subscribers. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, make sure so you subscribe to the channel and hit your notification bell so you can get notified when I post a video. Want to say give thanks to everybody we live to see this Saturday morning, yeah. All of the ladies them will know so you get up this morning and cleanse yourself up top. You see? Now when you come for stay too long this morning and we have a few videos we're going to post this morning and I just want to take the time out to come this morning and tell you guys, you know, thank you for reviewing the videos and you know thank you for showing me some love and thing, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, me have a news we go and post and wanna see it up there. See? Wanna see the news up there. Um also in that news you got a teacher that's trying to help kids that don't have any help. That's a good teacher, people. So make sure you so go check out the news at Instagram this morning or a little more. Also in the news, there's a, um, a landslide where uh, a father, I think, loses his life and, um, and uh, the daughter is missing. All right, make sure you go check that out. Uh, the next video that's going to be followed after that video, you see video, that brother there ain't just come out of prison, spent 20 years in a blood clot prison. Now he come out of prison to post the cloth in front of them, carry him, figure, buy some clothes, and then carry the man, figure, try on some tight pants. Now me tell you no boy, say, you know, if you tap with the bumble cloth tight pants, then because you cannot bend down and pray to God if you need to pray to God. Mm? You know, listen to what the man say, and pay attention to what the man say, and the man say, hell no, him not go wear no pussy cloth tight pants. Somehow no boy does not make no sense when I jump up and down to put on your fucking tight pants. Tick talking on a bumbo cloth. Me tell you no boy, say, you know, if you stop it, you know, nah, listen. No, you know, check, this is the perfect example. Look on the video. Look on the video. Listen what the man say. Mr. Lord God, not a Ross. <laughs> 